This little brick house has seen a lot of changes over the last seven months as we have been completely renovating it inside and out. We purchased this house as a flip house to completely renovate and resell and we've been filming the entire renovation process as a little mini series here on my YouTube channel and in the last couple episodes of this renovation series I've been sharing complete makeovers of each space in this little brick house. Today's episode is going to be the complete makeover of the living room and dining room spaces. You will get to see these spaces completely transform in today's video as I take you through the entire renovation process from start to finish so we are going to start all the way back when we first purchased the house this is what these spaces in the house looked like they were very dark old lots of exposed brick and there was a window looking into one of the bedrooms so our plan was to open up the space and just take it from dark and depressing to bright and cozy over the next couple of minutes you'll get to see all of the work we've done to this area over the last seven months and then we'll get to the footage from just the last few weeks as we've been doing the finishing touches setting up furniture and decorating this is going to be such a huge transformation and you do not want to miss the before and afters at the end of this video and i want to say a huge thank you to castlery for sponsoring today's video but more about them later So this is demo day two. On the first demo day, we completely demoed out that kitchen and the wall that was dividing the kitchen and the living room, and then also a little bit of the wall there in the living room and the hallway. Now we're just working at gutting everything out of this room, the light fixtures, the carpet, the trim, basically everything is coming out of here. This carpet was so nasty as you can see and old and there was just piles of sand and dirt underneath of it. So this really needed to come out and we're going to be doing a nice vinyl flooring in the entire house as you'll see later here in a couple of minutes. Demo day is always really fun to just get everything cleared out of the house and knock down walls. But then once you get it down to a blank slate, you realize just how much work you have ahead of you. So this space here that we're currently ripping the carpet out of was an addition onto the house. That's why this whole wall is brick and why there's a window in the wall and also like an outdoor light fixture and everything. So the plan was to remove that window and then have the contractors drywall over all of the brick in this room, except for the little brick wall that's along the bottom of this room around like half the room here. We weren't going to be able to have that drywalled over because they would have to fur out the wall above that brick so that it would be out as far as the brick before they put up the drywall and it just wasn't going to work with the windows and the door and everything. So we decided to just leave that brick there along the floor and now that it's completely finished, it looks totally fine. We painted it the same color as the wall and it just blends in and gives a little something extra to this room. Here's a quick peek at what everything was looking like once all of the demo was done. And then the contractors came and they cut out a closet door in this brick wall over here. On the other side of this brick wall is that bedroom and they removed the window and then they cut a hole for a closet door because if you watch the bathroom makeover, we removed the closet in this bedroom to make the bathroom bigger. So we had to add a closet for this bedroom since it didn't have one anymore. So we decided to just do a walk-in closet on this side of the addition. So Jalen is framing up the wall for that closet and it turned out to be just a nice size closet for that room and great extra storage for this small house.
Okay, so here I'm showing you that Jalen had removed half of this wall just to help open up that living room a little bit more and also open up the entryway. That way when you walk in the front door, you can see into the living room and the addition. And then also there was the sketch on the wall where Jalen had been planning out where he was going to have the light fixtures installed. We had an electrician cut the holes and also put in all of the wiring for can lights in the hallway, the kitchen, the living room, the addition, basically the entire house. And that just really helped to brighten up this small house even more when you're working with a small space and trying to help it feel more open taking down walls that you can and doing a light paint color and also adding good lighting so that the space is well lit. We did the smaller can lights in the addition and the kitchen and then the larger can lights in the living room. As you can see at this point all of the drywall work was done and they just had a little bit of mudding and then texturing to do and we just did a very light flat texture on the walls and I always get a few questions about why we do texture on the walls and it is very common here in Arizona for a house to have textured walls. I know that's not always common everywhere, but here every house will usually always have some type of texture on the walls and it just helps to hide any imperfections over time in the walls. So now Jalen is painting the entire house. He painted the ceilings and all of the walls in the house. The ceilings he did just a basic white flat ceiling paint. And then the walls are Pale Oak by Benjamin Moore and we just did an eggshell finish for the walls. And the paint sprayer we bought from Lowe's, I'll link that down below. It's a really great paint sprayer. If you're going to be doing a lot of big painting projects, we would highly recommend it. You get a really smooth, even finish. going around and placing plugins and covers and switches and switch covers around at each plugin and switch because Jalen was making his way through the kitchen and the living room in the addition and putting in the can lights and replacing all of the switches and the plugins and the covers and everything. So this was a really exciting moment when we first switched on the lights in the house. We finally had electricity because ever since we started demo day, we didn't have lights in the house until this moment, so this was exciting to see the house lit up. We could really see that paint color, and now things are really going to start taking shape in here as Jalen installs flooring and trim, and then the kitchen gets completed and everything, and we get new windows. So just a lot of pretty progress is going to start happening now. And I forgot to explain how we're going to be setting up these rooms. So this addition, half of it is going to be the dining room. And then the other half I'm going to set up as just like a little sitting room or they could use it as an office. And then the living room will be this space over here beside the kitchen, the larger space. This will just be one big open room in here, the kitchen, and then the living room, just one open space with the island right in the middle. So this flooring that he is installing, we bought from Floor & Decor. Really love the color of this flooring. It went nicely with that wall color, and this is a vinyl flooring, so it's 100% waterproof. It had the underlayment attached to the back of it, which made the install really easy for Jalen because he didn't have to lay down any underlayment. He just had to be sure that the floor was level and clean, and then he could just cut these and snap them right in across the floor.
Okay, so now all of the flooring is installed and then our new windows got installed and we are going to be putting in a new back door here in a minute. We got a new back door that has a window in the top portion of it just to bring in even more light and help this space to feel even more open and bright. So now I'm just working on touch up paint. Jalen had to do some patchwork on this brick wall because there used to be a little wall right here where I'm painting. We had that removed just so that this living room and kitchen space could just be one open room. So next Jalen is just installing trim and I forgot to add the footage of him painting and installing the doors. But you guys already saw that if you've seen every episode in this series. But we did all new doors in the house, all new trim and everything. And then we did the matte black hinges and handles for all of the doors as well. And we are now at the current footage from just the last couple of weeks. Jalen had been installing all of the trim in the house and painting that, doing the touch up paint and everything. And then we installed the back door. And then you'll see the footage of me cleaning the living room, the kitchen, and the addition. Just getting everything cleared out of here and just doing lots of dusting, vacuuming, and mopping. Once I had everything cleared out of here, I started with the cleaning, just working my way from the top to the bottom, dusting, washing windows, and then I vacuumed and mopped the floor. Throughout this renovation, there has been so much cleaning. It just seems like you're constantly cleaning up messes and going through and cleaning up the house and sweeping and vacuuming with the shop vac and I'm finally doing the final cleaning in this house. I used a shop vac on the floors and then I used my vacuum from home and then I mopped these floors with my O-Cedar spin mop and just got them nice and clean and then I do have a robot vacuum here at the flip house that I can have run on these floors just to maintain them while we're having showings and things once this house is listed but I just wanted to do a good cleaning on this floor before we start setting up furniture and decorating and everything. As you can see, the kitchen is completely finished. If you're new here and you haven't seen the kitchen makeover, I'll link that video right here on the screen so that you can go and watch that video after this one. Love how it turned out and it's just going to tie into the furniture and the decor that I bring into this living room, dining room, and sitting area. Okay, now we can furnish and decorate the living room and dining room. This furniture we are unboxing is from Castlery and I'm really excited to be working with them. Thank you to Castlery for sponsoring this video. I will link their website down below. They sell beautiful, high quality, modern furniture and they offer free fabric swatches for their pieces, flat rate shipping, a 14 day return policy and warranty coverage. And I chose a couch, coffee table and table and chairs from their website for the Little Brick House. 
love how these pieces ended up looking in the space you'll get to see them in more detail over the next couple of minutes as i work at getting these rooms decorated we got the coffee table put together and now we're going to carry in the couches i'm going to get the rugs laid down and it was just really exciting to see these rooms start to come together I'll have the link for this rug down below. It's hand woven and 100% wool. I love the subtle pattern that it has and I just wanted a simple rug for the living room just because we've got that busy countertop just right over there next to the living room. So I feel like this was just the perfect subtle rug and now we are adding this beautiful Owen sectional from Castlery. This couch is so comfortable. We kind of just want to take it back to our house but it was the perfect size for the living room here at the flip house. And I really like the material that it's made out of. It seems like it will be really easy to keep clean, really durable, but yet it's still a nice soft fabric and you can feel the quality. It's just a great little sectional. Next, Jalen is putting together the table. I went for an oval table for this dining room because it is a smaller space. So I knew a square table would kind of crowd the space a little bit. So I went with the oval, which was the perfect choice. It's still a decent sized table, but yet you have plenty of room for walking around it. There's plenty of room for chairs and everything as you'll see but before we put the table in this dining room space I have two rugs to try out in here this first rug I got for the main bedroom but I just wanted to see what it looked like in the dining room before I put down the rug that I picked out for the dining room this first rug is really beautiful but I think it will look best in that main bedroom so I'm saving it for that stay tuned for those bedroom makeovers but I did choose this second rug this one is really beautiful. It goes well with the pattern on the countertop and also the rug that we have in the living room. It's really soft and comfortable to walk on, but yet it's a nice thin rug, so it'll be easy to keep clean and is a great size for this size of table and chairs. You want to be sure that you have plenty of space to pull your chair out on the rug to sit down. So this was a great size. This is a six by nine rug. And this table from Castlery is their Brighton Oval Dining Table. It's this beautiful walnut table. I love the design with the legs underneath. You've got plenty of space to fit chairs around this. You could fit even more than four chairs around here, but I just did four chairs. And these chairs are their Austin chairs in the walnut color. These are really beautiful and comfortable, high quality. I love the curved back of these. They just go well with that oval dining table and just kind of curve around it there. And you have plenty of space all around this table to walk around the table and everything. Even though I had measured, I didn't think there would be this much space around the table. So I'm really excited about that. And now I'm just continuing to decorate and furnish the rest of these spaces using items from my home. I just wanted to use decor that I already had on hand to stage this flip house. So I brought down about two truckloads of furniture and decor from my home.
up some black curtain rods above these windows and I hung these just about an inch below the ceiling and then six inches out from the window. If you want your room to appear taller, take your curtains all the way up to the ceiling and I especially wanted to do that for these windows because this ceiling slopes down and so it's pretty low right here above the window. So I made sure to take those curtain rods up as high as I could just to help the ceiling to feel a little bit higher. And these are my favorite white curtains. I get these from Amazon. They're a really affordable price. I have them in quite a few rooms at my house and I actually took these out of the boys' bedroom because I wanted to switch out their curtains anyway for something with a little bit more color. So I just brought these down here to the flip house and they are way too long because this ceiling is a little bit lower. So I do end up cutting off quite a bit of the bottom of this curtain here in a little while. And you may be wondering why I'm bothering to stage the flip house. And I just wanted to lightly stage this home because I know it's going to help it sell better. The pictures are going to look a lot better. When people walk into this home to view it, it will feel like a cozy home. They can picture how they could set it up and just picture themselves living here. And they will have the option to buy everything with the home, whether they just want some items or they want the house to look exactly like it is decorated and everything, they will have that option. But regardless, I just wanted to lightly stage it because like I said, I know it is going to help this house to sell a lot better. I did keep everything very minimal though and I just wanted it to be lightly decorated in here. Okay, so now it's time for the best part of the video, which is the before and the after.
hope that you enjoyed this living room makeover and dining room makeover. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. So much work has gone into this room over the last seven months and we're so excited for it to finally be finished. Stay tuned, we've got one more room makeover coming and that is the bedrooms. And then the final house tour, we've only got about three more videos left here in this series, so stay tuned for that. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in a couple days with a new video. Bye.